Riju, the young child leader of the Gerudo, roughly 12 years old and in charge of an entire tribe. Within the game, there is a lot of evidence to support that she wasn't ready to take on her role. However, it is part of her people's culture for her to be enrolled into the leader position upon the death of her mother. But just who was her mother, and how did she pass on? Despite what some may believe upon first impressions, Urbosa is not her mother. Rather, just a former chief of the Gerudo. Riju's mother only recently passed on, prior to Link waking up, so we have very little information, but with some research, a little bit of filling in the blanks, I have my theory on who Riju's mother was and how her demise came to be. As mentioned in the intro, Riju's mother passed away not long before Link woke up, and as that time is not given for her passing, but it's safe to assume it was only a matter of years before he woke up from the Shrine of Resurrection. There is some evidence to suggest this in certain dialogue. Divine Beast Naboris only started acting up recently, and it has been said around town that Riju and her guards are pretty worried regarding Naboris in the sense that they know nothing about the issue, nothing about Naboris, and or what to do about the issue. This does imply that Riju's mother wasn't alive at the time of Naboris starting to act up, which was around when Link woke up and Zelda's powers began to weaken, allowing Ganon to have some control with the Divine Beasts, hence the acting up. It's relevantly clear that Riju has not been on the throne for very long. In her own dialogue, along with the people of Gerudo Town's dialogue, you can see there is an uncertainty around Riju, a slight worry if you like. Not so much that the Gerudo don't have faith in her, more so that her lack of experience could cost them in a very deadly manner. Something that I find very interesting about Riju's mother, and that could support my theory very well, is that Riju is informed by an individual, a Gerudo guard, that her mother has passed away, and without any explanation as to how or why. Almost as if she would be too young to even understand. If her mother had just naturally passed away, the normal thing to do would be to explain to Riju what has happened and why it has happened. She is roughly 12, a fair age to explain the concept of death. Something every young child has to be educated on at some point, bracing them for the dark moments in life. But they didn't do that. They sort of kept it secretive to Riju, not telling her any cause of death, but also not just saying her mother had passed away. Almost as if her mother didn't just pass away, as Riju is led on to believe. Perhaps something more brutal and heartbreaking that wouldn't be appropriate to tell a young child like Riju. If you haven't caught on yet from my overly dark choice of words, I am indeed implying Riju's mother was murdered, but by who you may ask. Well, let's fast forward to the present day real quick and talk to Riju. Remember that quest she gives us to go and recover the Thunder Helm? Well, I believe that very same Thunder Helm is connected to the death of her mother. In the game, it is explained that the Thieves of the Thunderhelm have a hideout not far from Gerudo Town. We are set the task of invading their hideout and recovering the helm, but something very interesting came to me when researching into this topic. The Thieves, or the Yiga Clan, have been trying to steal the sacred treasure of the Gerudo for years. We can see in one of the Champions Ballad cutscenes, or Bosa's scene to be specific, she deals with a few Yiga clan members. They appear to be somewhat circling the town from the outside, scoping it out perhaps and planning for a break-in, although that is just speculation. But we do know for certain that the Yiga clan have been trying to steal this sacred treasure for a long time, with many failed attempts. 
That is why it is kept within the hardest place to reach within the town, the most heavily guarded place too. If this treasure was just displayed in the centre of the town, it would be very easy to steal. Rather, it is kept within the throne room, guarded by multiple guards at each entrance, along with extra security inside. In other words, they really value the helm and want to keep it protected at all costs. It is likely that the Yuga clan were aware the current leader at the time, Riju's mother, had a daughter, Riju. Considering the fact they failed and failed time after time with the likes of Riju's mother, Lady Urbosa, and past leaders of the Gerudo, the Yuga clan knew they stood no chance, especially with a very skillful, adult leader right beside the Thunder Helm. We see Lady Urbosa is very capable of taking on more than one Yiga foot soldier at a time. She wipes them out with ease, and it's likely Riju's mother and most past leaders were just as skilled, or near enough. So even if the Yiga clan managed to infiltrate the town, beat the guards, and still be unnoticed, they would be faced with an absolute warrior of a woman. A leader who is capable of taking out multiple threats single-handedly. Basically, they stood no chance, and this is why I believe Riju's mother was murdered by the Yiga clan. Perhaps not within the town, maybe one of her many trips outside the town. As the leader, she would be expected to leave the town from time to time, maybe just to visit the bazaar, as it is part of her land. If this is the case, and Riju's mother was murdered by the Yiga clan, it would also explain why Riju wasn't told a full story regarding her mother's passing. No cause of death? or believed cause of death. No reasoning, no nothing. Almost like they knew telling her that her mother was just murdered wouldn't be appropriate at the time. The Yiga clan have been seen to attack in packs, so it's not unlikely that they may have planned an attack on Riju's mother. A successful assassination attempt on her mother would of course result in Riju taking throne, making stealing the Thunder Helm a lot, lot easier. So I believe, that the Yuga clan murdered Riju's mother as a part of a plan to steal the Thunder Helm, and if that was the case, it certainly worked. So there you have it. My theory is that Riju's mother was murdered by the Yuga clan in order to enroll a younger leader onto the throne, Riju, making the job of stealing the Thunder Helm much easier for the Yuga clan, and that she didn't just pass away, as Riju was told. So, what did you guys think on this topic? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and our own theories down below. If you enjoyed today's theory video, be sure to leave the video a like. I would highly appreciate it. If you want to see more videos just like this one, or on other topics around The Legend of Zelda, be sure to go check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Hop in our Discord server if you haven't already through the link below. And until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.